tell me about what happened this season on Glee. Uh, this season on Glee, there was a catfish. Um, someone was pretending they were someone else. There was lots of singing and dancing, and just lots of singing and people being mean to each other. There was um, people auditioning. There was lots of stuff. I mean, I, I imagine it's going to be on DVD in September, so we could relive it all. And do you know what's going to happen to your character next season? I have no idea at all. I, I, I haven't wasn't in the last season too much, so I don't even. They have so many characters, so I don't even know if I'll be in it. But I hope I at least get to graduate because they didn't finish off the school year last season, so I don't know, hopefully it's something fun. And how old were you when you started singing and dancing? Um, I actually I don't sing and dance, which is probably shocking because I'm on the show Glee, but I, I don't know, I've, I've been acting professionally for like the last eight years. I've been doing theater and stuff since I was a kid, since I was nine years old. So what do you, what's your character on Glee then? My character is yeah. Jacob Ben Israel, the school blogger, and he used to stalk Leah Michelle's character and blackmail her, which was pretty fun, and um, ask to, st um, to get a pair of her panties or he'd write a bad review about her. So it's pretty creepy stuff. So it was kind of <laughs> fun when I read the script. I was like, what? That's what I have to do? But it, I mean, it was funny. It was awesome. Have you ever done that in real life with the girl that you liked? The, uh, blackmailed her? N I've never. Not stalked. No, I guess he's. he's Cyber stalk. I mean, not nothing hardcore, but I think you look go on Facebook and you look up pictures and you look at comments, but nothing. So I think that's normal stuff, right? No, that's that's not too creepy. And have you ever liked someone and that didn't share the same feelings? Oh, haven't we all? Uh, that uh, yeah, more often than not, that was the case. And sometimes it makes it more. It work when it, sometimes it's the opposite way, and someone's into you, and you're not the same way. And then, because I have a conscience, I feel bad because like, oh, I know what it's like being on the other end of it. But yeah, I think that happens to everyone. And but right now, I got I have a girlfriend, so and we both like each other, so we both have mutual feelings. It's both like love, so it's pretty cool. Well, what's the most romantic thing you've ever done for her? Oh, uh, like how long do we have? Like is this a few like minutes. An hour interview. <laughs> Just tell me one time. I got as many birthday cards as her age was. So if she was turning 23, I got 23 birthday cards. So I, th I thought that was cool. I thought that was a pretty romantic idea. Though I read that in a book rom of romantic ideas, so it's not an original. So you think you can find true love in Hollywood? Yeah. Sometimes you have to look really hard and go on a lot of bad dates first, but yes, it is possible. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.